Hey, hello, Rodrigo and Brenda. Paul McLean here, Crestview RV, Buda, Texas. Thank you so much for your time yesterday. Let's uh, show you the two campers that we pretty much landed on. I'm standing on the Grand Design 17 MKE. That's the one with the Murphy bed inside that I'll show you here momentarily. Um, the roofs, of course, are fully walkable. You could throw a couple of beanbag chairs up here, watch the sunset. There's your uh, solar panel. Proof is in the pudding, 165 watts. And that is what uh, will run everything except your air conditioner, which is here. And that's a 15K, I believe, that's ducted throughout your camper. Uh, you can see how well done the Grand Design roofs are. You have a roof vent for just like an attic vent in a house for condensation in the wintertime. Even the slide out is walkable. You can stand on that, fix something, brush stuff off, sit on it. No harm, no foul. That's your WineGuard digital antenna. That's the 360. WineGuard is the name in the industry, so Grand Design doesn't skimp and gives you the WineGuard 360 there. You've got some uh, cooling vents here, and that's your head in the hole shower there in the back. I'm gonna jump off this and show you the interior, and then I'll show you also that uh, Colorado that we liked. It would be a little bit less expensive um, with no slide outs. That's one of the main differences. So I'll meet you down at the bottom. So here is the side of it you will see much more often. You have pass-through storage there uh, on the front. Electric tongue hitch, of course, almost everybody's doing that now. And if this is unlocked, this is where all your controls will be. You'll have a spray port, so you have a power spray washer on the outside of your camper and still have hot and cold running water here for outside shower. That's your solar panel, and that's your inverter that runs your refrigerator as well. Laminated sidewalls on the Imagines. R40 insulation factor on the roof. R30 on the heated and closed underbelly, and R7 on these walls. It's a power awning that will run all the way out for you. And then the interior, you may remember. This again is the Murphy bed. The AC is on on this one, so you'll notice how quiet it is. Both of those recline, and they're, they have heat, vibration, and a little bit of accent lighting too. You see the blue light that turned on underneath there. You have the same blue accent light above your bed you can turn on or off and of course that acts as a couch when you have guests or it's not the nighttime murphy bed's a great idea as long as it's done well which in this case it is um, for a use of space lots of closet storage even storage underneath your couch there Drawer, drawers everywhere they can put them smart tv from the beginning that comes with it Aluminum undermount sink, one piece molded countertop, and you've got about 12 feet of countertop there. This is your 12 volt refrigerator. Without those uh, condenser fans in there, fins, you have so much more room. And then a nice bathroom, which is a Porcelain toilet, not plastic, towel storage, medicine storage, washcloths, what have you. Big shower. This is the same uh, door, screen door that Airstream uses. The exact same. So that's the 17 MKE. I should show you the bed down. Which I will. Voila. So that's a full queen bed, 60 inches by 80 inches. Uh, you can change a mattress later on if you'd like to. You can uh, buy whatever sheets you want and they'll fit perfectly. These guys will have a, a 110 outlet at the foot of each side of your bed, but in addition to that, you have these little cubby holes that have both 110 and USB in there and they'll fit the top si five selling CPAP machines if you need one of those. And these are either a real nice blue night light there or you can hit the button twice. 
and it's a nice bright reading light your choice so that's the 17 mke let's walk over to the colorado which was about eight grand less if my memory serves and that'll be the differences will be it'll be a uh, aluminum sided corrugated sided uh, wood framed camper versus a fiberglass aluminum framed camper that's where a lot of the difference in price comes from another big difference is the imagine has that slide out and you'll remember remember that we put that slide out in and you have basically the same uh, camper on that imagine with the slide in or out but that's where the price differences come into play Colorado's are made by Dutchman and I do not know where I am going but I should be over here I plugged it into a cart here we are so this is a 2022 Dutchman it's a brilliant floor plan because most of the time your view at a campsite is through the rear window and this has a rear den idea that really captures the rear panoramic view available in this camper so big windows here all that open really nice really well done still get a 12 volt fridge it looks to be the same size actually so that's the same um, the AC is not ducted in this one it's just gonna blow from all three here I have one in my AC in my camper that does just this it freezes me out in a room much larger than this so that will do the trick for sure this little uh, couch here will make into a sleeping area as will that so you can't accommodate guests and just you know for a no slide inexpensive brand new camper by Dutchman it should be considered eight thousand dollars is a lot of camping so if you just want to keep it simple this might be your best bet this will be you know I can't tell I want to call that a short clean but I think that's a full clean as well I think that's a 60 by 80 uh, as well you can put a TV there if you want you still get the 110 USB so those are our two choices as of currently and I'm ready when you are let's go camping that's the whole idea let's not talk about it let's be about it let's spend time on the beach or on the lake instead of at RV dealerships how about that for an idea 406-696-4750 406-696-4750 give me a holler I'm ready with whenever you are 100 bucks to take either one of these off the market for you and we can arrange some financing see if you like that if you don't no harm no foul we part friends and you get your C note back let's go camping